The Vertex Fusion Stretch Tactical Pant. This is a new, modified, updated, altered design of their original tactical pants that I have a million pairs of. These, I think this is the first pair I ever bought of them. As you can see, they're well worn here. I've probably had these for eight or nine years. I've worn them a ton. And they've made some modifications for the Fusion pants that I will talk about here as I go through the review. These pants are a not inexpensive $90, $89.95. I'll put a link down here. You can check them out. They come in five colors, black, khaki, desert tan, navy, and OD green. The fabrics, there is either a seven or five ounce fabric, either heavier or lighter, depending on what season you're going to wear them in. These are the seven ounce one that I'll review here. It's 42% polyester, 23% of their 37.5 technology, which is a fabric that helps with temperature regulation and moisture wicking to keep you kind of at the right temperature, no matter what environment you're in and then they are 35% cotton. As the name implies, they are stretch pants. They have a two-way stretch, so horizontal, but not vertical, because when you're putting stuff in your pockets, you don't want that starting to weigh the pant down. So all pants that are stretch generally are just a horizontal stretch for a little extra ease of movement. These come in waist sizes 28 to 54, all two-inch increments and lengths 30 to 36. On the edges here, there is a stretch waistband, and this will give about an extra inch and a quarter stretch on either side. I always buy my Vertex pants in a 33 inch waist. They only come in two inch increments, 30, 32, 34, 36. So I bought these in a 32 inch waist, and they actually fit fine. They have six two and a half inch belt loops, two on the front and four in the rear. Now, if you're going to carry inside the waistband, obviously you might want to allow a little extra room for that but still hopefully these sizes should work for you either in their native size or with just a little bit of stretch. These pants have 14 pockets that I'll show you as I go through the review here. And let's just start up at the top here and go through the construction of them. There is one brass button here with a locking brass YKK zipper in here. So if the zipper is down, it's locked. If the zipper is up, it's locked. But if the zipper is just straight, you can pull it right open. On the inside, there's no secondary closure. I prefer no secondary closure. I know some people like a secondary closure because if you're really active and you're carrying a lot of stuff, it can give the pants a little bit more security. For me, I don't like it. And honestly, I think it makes it this really old too much old TMI, but it makes it easier to go to the bathroom because you're not reaching around as much fabric as if it was a thicker piece here with a secondary button here. So I prefer just the single closure and you're gonna probably be wearing a belt with it hopefully anyway. So that's gonna help keep the waist fastened. Inside here, there's the Vertex logo here, and then really nothing else fancy on the inside. Here's the tag up here, 32 by 30, 42 polyester, 35 cotton, and 23% of that 37.5 technology. And then the care instructions on the back here, which being a, I guess, a typical guy, I am horrible at following. Machine wash cold, don't do it. Wash with light colors, uh, I'm sure there are some dark colors in the washing machine when I wash these. General cycle, nope, I wash in the normal cycle. Non-chlorine bleach, I don't use bleach. Tumble dry low, uh, I tumble dry regular. Cool iron if needed, I rarely ever iron these. And don't use fabric softener, often I don't, but occasionally, and do not dry clean, definitely no problems there. Otherwise, nothing else on the inside. Now the pockets here, to help with that cooling, the pockets are mesh. And you can see here, that's gonna help with a little bit of airflow through the pockets. They don't have the sort of reach through thumb area like a lot of pockets have, I don't use that anyway but there is a little space up here in the upper part of the pocket that I guess you could put stuff, I don't know, but the pocket does go up that way if you're so inclined. These pants are cut with a little bit higher rise than some other pants that I have. The rise is the distance from the crotch to the waist, and on these it's almost 13 inches in front, and they are cut higher in back as most pants are. So these pants tend to have a higher waisted cut compared to like my 511 pants. These are 13s, my 511s are a good inch shorter. So they sit a little bit lower on your waist. These are going to sit a little bit higher, just something to note. I also like the fabric on these that it's not a ripstop. The original ones, ripstop fabric. I like that these are just kind of a plain looking fabric. They're, they're still kind of definitely have a tactical bend to them, but I like that it's just a plain fabric. The pocket design is somewhat updated on these. Compared to the original pants, the original pants went down and had a notch at the bottom. These pants have a notch at the top and then go straight across. It still presents some of the same problems, I'll say. On the original pants, I would put my knife here, and then I would put a pen, and there was not really a lot of room to get your hand around to the side here. On these, it's still roughly the same pocket real estate. 
So if you put stuff there, there's still not a ton of space to get your hand in here. On the original, the notch was open. On these, the notch right here is sewn shut. So the only pocket opening that you have is from here to here. And that distance is, if you are so inclined to know, about six and six and a quarter inches. They do talk about the fact that they put this pocket a little bit lower. So if you're wearing a duty belt, you can still get in below the belt and get into the pocket. These pockets are also reinforced. You can see the original pockets here, not reinforced. And this one is held up well, but is still pretty beaten up after repeated in and outs of knives. So these new ones are reinforced with Cordura, so they're going to last a lot longer. It does make the pocket thicker. So if you have a knife with a small, like underclip distance here, it's gonna have, you're gonna have to work a little bit more. Sometimes you have to lift things up to get it up over that lip of the pocket. But these are reinforced, so they're gonna hold up a little bit better. We've gone down, there's a gusset in the crotch for a little extra ease of movement. The gusset goes down to here on either side. The knees are articulated here and here so that when you bend them, there's gonna be a little extra ease of movement there. And then the bottom of the pants, nothing down here, just a plain bottom, no blousing strap holes, nothing else, just a normal bottom. Looking at the side and rear pockets now. So the front pocket here goes back to the midline. Moving down to that side pocket, Pretty typical Vertex design, as you can see here, compared to the old ones. One of the nice things about them is there's no Velcro, so you just get in and it's quiet. This one has a little bit bigger flap than the original ones. This flap kind of goes down and up versus the original ones, which had, I think, were a little bit easier to get into. This one locks things in there just a little bit more with a bigger flap. On the inside, there is also mesh lined here for a little bit extra air movement, although this mesh is not open to the inside of the pant. There's another layer of fabric on the inside there. On the inside of this pocket, there is one small pocket that is this big. So you can put your cell phone in there. My Galaxy S10 will fit down in that pocket and will fit into that inside pocket, just about perfect size. So it sits right there. There's one bellow right here on the side. Again, similar to the old style to allow for a little bit extra bulk that you can put in there. Another modification on these pants here is that these have another zippered pocket here, either vertical or horizontal, depending on if you're standing or sitting. And if you're sitting down, these pants are fixed to your waist, you can just push this right down and get into it. This pocket is just one large pocket, this whole size. It's actually in front of the inside pocket. So it's on the front half of the inside pocket. Has mesh to the inside pocket, and then behind that mesh is regular fabric. So it's not pure mesh going through to your skin, like I said. On the back here, there's the patch pocket right here. And this has their locking flap, which is a flap of material on the inside here that you can put your wallet or credentials, or whatever down into. And then it locks up under that flap. So it's not going to come out since this pocket is open on the top. You can lock that in there. And then there's two other pockets here. You can use these pockets again for your phone and my Galaxy S10 Plus is swallowed by those pockets all the way down in both of them. Size of these pockets, if you're so inclined, the opening of this one is about four and a quarter inches. Opening of this one is about three and a half, three and three quarter inches. The depth on them, about six and a half and six and a half inches. You can also put a 30 round AR magazine in them almost swallows them both. This one has a little bit of play and this one sits a little bit more snug because it's a little bit thinner. So you could carry 120 two, two, three rounds if you wanted, if you needed to be, depending on what it is that you're doing. It's gonna weigh you down a little bit, but four pockets worth of those and that rear patch pocket. You could also clip a knife or a pen or whatever else you wanted to in here. Sometimes I put my Leatherman shears into one of these. This is going to be kind of in the back of your thigh. So when you sit down, you may sit on it a little bit Three of the pants, as I mentioned before, the two patch pockets, those four pockets that I just talked about. It is set up a little bit higher in back, as I mentioned, to provide a little bit more coverage, but otherwise nothing else fancy on the back. Let me give you an idea of the fit of these pants with them on. Like I mentioned before, they have a higher rise, so these pants ride up a little bit higher on your waist. My hip bones are right here, so these pants sit just above your waist. In back, they are a little bit higher as well to give you a little more coverage when you bend over. The fit snugness wise on these, I'm not sure if it's because these are a 32 and I usually wear a 33, but these are cut pretty snug across the front here, such that when you go to get into these pockets, because the pockets have this horizontal 
or vertical entry, depending on which way you want to look at it. It's pretty snug. There's not a lot of room to get in here. It doesn't billow out as much. When there's nothing in your pocket, it's fine. It looks very clean. But if you put something in your pocket, like my keys here, it is going to print a little bit, again, depending on what size you wear. The waist on these is fine, just a little bit snug right through here. If you start putting a little bit of stuff in these pockets, like a knife and a pen here, it doesn't leave a ton of room to get in next to them. You can get in around them, but again, just not a ton of room depending on how much stuff you're gonna pile up in here. The side pockets, you can put the AR magazine back here. You can put it up here. You can sit with this. Again, these pants are cut a little bit snug up here. So if you're sitting, especially with two of these, it would get a little bit snug, but standing with them, not a huge deal. Alternatively, if you didn't want to take up all the space in your front pocket, you could put your knife back in the rear pocket here, and that would free up some more space here. These side pockets, like I mentioned, I always carry my cell phone here. Fits right down in there into that internal pocket. It slides right in there, and then that seals shut. It's a nice, clean look. I like the ease of access. There's no Velcro, no noise, easy access to the phone, and easy back in there. No one knows you have it. No one's going to pickpocket that from you. The side zipper pockets I think are more useful if you're sitting down, but you can get into them pretty easily. Standing up, you can get into them, but not as useful as if you're sitting down. On the back, the two patch pockets, and it has the flap to keep things secure in the pocket from coming out. Overall with these pants, I really like the fabric. This stretch fabric with the vapor core technology is really nice. I like that it's not ripstop. They still have certainly a tactical look to it with all these pockets, but I like the fact that is a more normal looking non ripstop fabric. They are cut a little bit snug across the front here, again, depending on what size you get. The waist in these fits well for me, so I'm not sure if it's just a product of the cut of these pants or that they're an inch smaller than what I would usually wear in my other Vertex pants. So overall, I've been very happy with these pants. I will put some links down below. You can check them out, the Vertex Fusion Pant.